G'day, I'm Mark Latham, New South Wales leader of Pauline Hanson's One Nation. One of the things about our party, we're fighting tooth and nail to protect the Australian way of life. Our freedoms, a fair go for all, uh, enjoying larrikin humour, you know, the Australian way of expressing ourselves and getting out and enjoying the great outdoors of our wonderful nation. Well, one of the groups that are really under the pump from green ideology and bureaucratic meddling in New South Wales is our recreational fishermen and women. Uh, the New South Wales Government we saw in 2016, they were doing the work of the Greens by trying to ban the greyhound industry, well just as bad. They've had this proposal out there, they've uh, put it under wraps just for the election campaign. The worry is if Berejiklian gets back in, it'll be out after the election, to have 25 fishing lockout zones along the New South Wales coast and all these other bureaucratic restrictions on our uh, fishers. It's just quite ridiculous. They're buried in red tape. Now fishing, of course, dropping a line in the water, catching some fish, cooking it for the family, it's been part of the Australian way of life and it should never be touched. It's a great way for uh, men in particular to get out there, enjoy some time, relax with their mates, tell a few jokes. Uh, it's also a good way to get the young ones out away from their computer screens and enjoy a wonderful sport in the outdoors, outside. So look, we've got to do everything we can to look after the fishers in New South Wales. They've got some wonderful associations. The whole approach here should be to say no to regulation, no to bureaucratic interference, no to green ideology and allow them through their associations and fishing clubs to get about the important task of self-management. That's the purpose of our policy I'm releasing today, self-management and it's there on the One Nation website. I'll just give you that address, nsw.onenation.org.au. And let me just give you the, the, the three top items here. There's 10 uh, policy planks that we've got, but I just want to give you the, the, the top three here to give a flavour of the policy. And you can go to the website and have a look and support our recreational fishers around the state. The first is unequivocal opposition to the government's proposed 25 fishing lockout zones. There should be a 10-year moratorium on the creation of new marine parks, providing certainty into the future. Secondly, all marine parks legislated under the Marine Park Act should be abolished and new independent regional bodies established to manage recreational fishing. No recreational fishers should be excluded from any marine park or sanctuary zone. The third one here, One Nation has agreed to all 63 policy commitments sought by the Recreational Fishing Alliance of New South Wales for the 2019 election. They did a great job in opposing the lockout and having this uh, reprieve. Let's hope the lockout never comes back. It's absurd policy. And of course, uh, supporting the Alliance is a very, very important step towards self-management. So go to the website and have a look at all the detail there, nsw.onenation.org.au. Thanks very much.